Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and if you're new, hey what's up, my name is Maribel and I'm a NASM certified trainer as well as a nutritionist. And for today's video, I have a 30 minute full body workout, but we're also going to be targeting your glutes because we all like glutes. We're starting off with squats as a warm up. I always recommend starting with the lightest weight as possible and then you can comfortably perform 12 to 15 reps with proper form, then increase the weight. I want you to start with two sets of squats as your warm up and then I want you to eventually do three working sets of 12 reps. As you can tell here, I continue with my same weight. I was just working on my form, breathing, as well as learning how to hold my core throughout my whole movement. So if you do not feel comfortable with, with increasing your weight, that's totally fine. You could work on other areas. It really depends on your goals and what are you working on that day. I also want to remind you not to put your barbell on your neck because you don't want to get injured and you don't want to get tension on your neck. Your barbell goes on your upper back. If you have any questions about squatting, progressive overload, feel free to comment down below and I will for sure answer them and try to guide you as best as possible. Rest for one minute in between each set. Use this time to sip on water and get ready for your next movement, which is going to be overhead press. We're moving right along to overhead press and we are doing three sets of 12 reps. Make sure to hold your core in, which is going to help you not arch your back preventing lower back injuries because i always say the proper form is key to prevent injuries and also get the goals that you need and want i also wanted to mention something very important never forget that your fitness goals are fueled also through your nutrition so always remember to stay consistent with both your nutrition as well as your training sessions the third move is chest press and you are doing three sets of 12 as indicated to your right so always look to the right to see the name of the movement and how many sets and how many reps this workout has. For the chest press, I do want you to arch your back. So make sure that you are arching your back, squeezing your inner thighs and holding your core as well. I'm currently working on my 2024 workout program, but right now you have available a nutritional plan. All you have to do is DM me or comment down below and I'll send you the forms and then we could go from there. It's a program personalized for your needs based on your ATP energy level as well as your goals, etc. But let's get right into this chest press. Make sure that you're focusing on your mind muscle connection and squeeze at the top. Any other tips that you need, either DM me on my Instagram or feel free to comment down below. We're moving right along to our next move. Our next move are pull-ups. I know this is a very difficult movement. If you're not there yet, just do overhead press. Try to work on your grip to be able to work on your pull-ups. I do want you to do three sets of 12. I show you a overhead press with a lighter weight just because you should be working on your grip in order to go ahead and advance to a pull-up. A good tip for pull-up will be to take your time don't rush through this movement, but also use explosive. So when you use explosive, you're also using kind of the momentum from your body to pull you all the way up. Once you're done with all of your pull-ups, remember three sets of 12 reps. I want you to go ahead and do your rest and then we're moving on to rows. Make sure that you're keeping your core tight and you're pulling your barbell to your chest. If you don't follow me in any of my social media, what are you waiting for? Go ahead and follow me on MusclePie. I have TikTok, I have Instagram, I have Pinterest, and of course I have YouTube. Make sure to subscribe to get more free videos and content. We're moving right along to lunges. I want you to do three sets of 12 reps, holding your core and all of your force coming from your lower body. This is what we've been waiting for, or at least what I've been waiting for throughout the whole workout. I want you to focus on your breathing. You are gonna exhale on the way up, returning to your starting position, but inhale on the way down during the lunge. Make sure that your knees do not touch the mat. Also avoid leading too far forward or backwards. Our next move are planks. I love this movement because it actually engages more than one muscle. You are working your shoulders, your back, and your legs. To perform a plank, I want you to start in a push-up position. I want your weight on your forearms, elbows directly beneath your shoulders. I want you to keep your body as straight as possible and do not let your hips sag or pike up. 
if you need a rest, take your rest. I really believe that it's super important when you're doing apps that you have the proper form, even if it's for a shorter time. As you get stronger, you could gradually increase the time that you spend in the plank position. This will help you improve your core strength as well as endurance. Second to last exercise is jumping jacks. Try to establish a steady rhythm with your jumping jacks. This will help you maintain a consistency pace and make the exercise more effective. Exhale as you jump out and inhale as you return to your starting position. And what I always tell my client is to make sure that your knees are soft and they're not locked. Your feet should land softly with your weight distributed evenly. I didn't give you a set reps, you're doing jumping jacks till failure. So you're only doing it for one set. You're moving on to push-ups. Just as jumping jacks with push-up, you have no set reps. It's still failure. Keep your elbows close to your body. As you lower yourself, do 45 degrees angle to your torso. Then this will reduce the chances of straining your shoulders. So this workout, I was super tired. Thank you so much for working out with me. Make sure to comment down below, subscribe to my channel, and go see my other videos. Like, what's going on, guys? See you next time. Bye.